Schwarzenegger in a bloody hand. Arnold Schwarzenegger playing a futuristic killing machine in The Terminator, which has been the number one box office hit in the country lately, catching much of the movie industry, including two movie critics <laughs> I know, very much by surprise. The Terminator is one of four films we'll be reviewing this week on At the Movies, the movie review program. And joining me in the balcony, Roger Ebert, film critic of the Chicago Sun-Times. And across the aisle from me is Gene Sisko, film critic of the Chicago Tribune. In addition to The Terminator, this week we'll also be reviewing The Killing Fields, about a man who was left behind in the American evacuation of Cambodia, and Comfort and Joy, about a war between two ice cream companies in Scotland. But first, Gene starts with a romance starring Christy McNichol. Just the <laughs> This one proves the basic rule. Uh, okay, next at the movies, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> as The Terminator. <laughs> The number one box office hit in recent weeks has been The Terminator, a violent action movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger as an avenging killer from 40 years in the future. He is half man and half machine. His skeleton is made out of stainless steel. He's got computers for brains, and that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for his personality. His mission is to kill a young woman from today before she can become the mother of a rebel leader of the future. And in this scene, the young woman has just taken refuge in a police station. You'll be perfectly safe. Mm. I got 30 cops in this building. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her, please? No, can't see her. She's making a statement. Where is she? Look, it may take a while. I want to wait. There's a bench over there. I'll be back. kind of goes right on the list with that scene where Chuck Norris drove the pickup truck out of the grave. Remember that scene? Yeah, but I think, you know, along with your balloon theory, I think you might say that a good picture is never made where someone drives a truck through a plate glass window. Uh, we'll leave that in abeyance because I think I'm going to give thumbs up. In fact, I know I'm going to give thumbs up to this picture, believe it or right. not. That a lot of scene is pretty much typical of the whole movie, which is kind of a cross between Dirty Harry and the Road Warrior meet the killer from Halloween. <laughs> the Terminator is nonstop action and violence, except when it does stop now and then to tell the story of another visitor from the future, a man who has been sent back in time to kill the Terminator. And this man falls in love with a young woman who's going to be the mother of the future, and their story is told in strong, simple terms that are surprisingly romantic and effective. In fact, this is a surprising movie. It's violent, it's bloody, it's sadistic but it is also well acted and directed. It is R-rated. Don't go unless you like strong action pictures, but I must say, I did like it. Yeah, I uh, was rooting for it. I mean, I thought, you know, everyone's talking about mm -hmm. it. when I saw it a little bit late, and uh, I was not impressed. I don't know why. Uh, other than to say that the action seemed to be pretty much routine. There was a lot of the futuristic stuff uh, on, the planet, on the planet mm -hmm. uh, where this guy's come from. And that seemed to me to be just a rector set toy making. Mm -hmm. uh, the love story that you talk about actually is kind of nice. And yeah. I would, I think that within that little love story is actually uh, a potential for a full scale film. Mm -hmm. If it had been about that, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Well, the whole paradox, which I won't give away, but the yeah. whole paradox of who that guy is and the fact that yeah. he and this woman fall in love. That's nice. It's poignant. Yeah, it is it, kind of sweet. And it takes the whole idea of time travel and makes it into kind of a bittersweet sort of thing. Yeah. Plus, non-stop action, which is probably why the movie is number one at the box office. So, as an action picture, I thought it was pretty well made. As an action picture, I thought it was not particularly well made, uh, but the love story, you're right, is kind of nice. Coming up next at the movie...